Hey, Scope Scripter here, and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to insert a picture inside of a part inside of Roblox Studio. So this is actually going to be super simple, so if you don't know how to do this, don't worry, this will be really quick. By the way guys, if you haven't already and you're a frequent viewer on this channel, or if you're new, go follow my Twitter and subscribe to the Shorts channel, link in the description, and without further ado, let's get going. So the first thing you're going to do is right up here, go to Model tab, and you're going to insert a part by clicking this part button right there and it will insert a new part. Now, most of you probably already have a part if you, you know, looked at this tutorial, but for the purpose of this video, just insert a new part to follow along. Um, so anyways, once you have that part, you're gonna go in your Explorer and your Properties, which if you don't know how to open that, you're going to go right up here to the View tab. You're gonna click it, and then you're gonna find Explore. Just click it and it'll open, and Properties, and it will open. So inside of this little preview uh, menu right here, you're just going to click your part and it will auto select and explore or you can do it in explorer too it really doesn't matter but just select that part then hover over it click the plus button and you're going to insert a surface gui so if it doesn't pop up immediately you can just search for it in the search bar it should look something like this and then you just click that and it should insert it so as of now there's no text or image yet but that's the next thing we are going to do so right inside the surface gui we're going to click this plus button again and just search for image and we'll have image button and image label so let me just explain the difference between the two although it does look apparently obvious image button it's just a button well you know like the name suggests in a part where if the player clicks it you can make a function you can make something carry out whatever but image label is probably what you want if you just want a simple picture um so just click image label so now you're going to look around your part so you might not see it immediately but it will insert itself into the part in one of its sides. So you just gotta kinda look around. If you don't see it immediately, that means it's probably on another face, and you'll see. So the first thing you'll notice is actually that this is super stretched out, possibly, that's what it is for me. So you can like scale this a little to match up with the picture, and then if you wanna make the picture bigger, you select the image label, and inside of your properties tab, look for size, and you'll see size. And you gotta kinda, I know it sucks because there's no real like, you know, scaling in the preview menu, you really just have to do it by pixel over here. You can kind of do that, like 200. I believe 100 pixels is one stud, or no, more than one stud, but it's like one of these blocks is 100 pixels. So that's not really a great reference, but hopefully that gives you guys something to go by. Um, but um, yeah, so once you have your image scaled the way you want it, now it's obviously time to insert the image. So obviously you can see there's no image. So click image label once again, go back to your properties and in the properties bar search for image and you'll notice this setting right here. So if you don't publish your game by the way, this won't work. So you actually have to go and publish it. So let me just publish that. All right, and once you've successfully published, you're going to go back to the properties bar. And if you've already published, obviously we can skip that. But um, yeah, so once you're back in your properties bar, click on image right here and you'll see this URL thing pop up. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna press add image and it will open your file folder. And there you're going to select a PNG, JPEG or whatever type of image file you have. And then you're going to press open and it will insert it into here. And so for some of you, what will happen? Well, it will take a while. So like there will be like an image on the image that you just inserted. Okay, so basically it'll be like a little loading thing. I've been probably explaining it super bad, but what'll happen is maybe there'll be some other image instead of the image you inserted, like this default image right here. That's okay, that just means it's loading in and the moderators are checking it or Roblox's like, system is going through it. This can be pretty fast. This can take maybe minutes, seconds, but sometimes if you're loading decals, it can even take like half a day maybe, but that's really unlikely. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't take too long for you guys. And once it is ready, it should load right up. And if you wanna go back and you know reload it to make it load in, and if it hasn't, you just go back to the properties bar, click this, and then you'll see there will be like a little tab right here with the image, you just click that and it will load right up. In some cases, the images do get moderated, um, mainly by mistake. Hopefully you guys aren't trying to upload anything bad, but yeah, mainly they do get moderated by mistake that happens, try to upload it again, maybe a little bit zoomed in or a little zoomed out. By the way, very important, if the image has too many frames or you're trying to upload something like that, like a really colorful image with too much stuff in it, in Roblox's system might not take it because of how much stuff it has to check and it's not able to. 
So just keep that in mind. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about inserting pictures inside of Roblox Studio. Um, obviously, I wasn't gonna really open the file folder because, I mean, I really don't have anything bad in there, but like, I don't know, I just don't really wanna open my files on video. But um, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.